I sing as I wander along on the lonely road. There's a song in my heart as I'm toting my weary load. Over mountain and desert and valley, with the wind for a compass I see. That I'm on the right road, and mine is a light load for me. Thanks, thanks to the heroes before me, I'm free as the breeze. I go wherever I please with my song along Freedom Road. Gone are the dark days of the war between the states. Gone, too, are the rumbling wagon wheels on the old pioneer trails. Today, other wheels are rolling on the superhighways of modern America. This is a story of America and some of the people along the way. The people could be you or me or the neighbor next door. That is, all except one. The story begins on a California highway near San Francisco. Meet Jimmy Rollins of Seattle on his way to Washington, D.C. and his first Boy Scout Jamboree. He's getting a king-size thrill out of the ever-changing view of America through these big picture windows. How's it look to you so far, son? It's the greatest. Take this highway, for instance. It follows the coast all the way down to San Diego. And then remember, it's the same road the Spaniards followed almost 200 years ago. Only they called it the El Camino Real, King's Highway. Try and imagine how it looked then. You mean, the Spaniards on horseback? In your own minds, ah, huh? yes. Fred Schroeder of Portland, Oregon, also has his place in the story of America. Summoned to the nation's capital to receive a medal for his only son, Fred Schroeder should be a proud man. He isn't. single-span bridge in the world. Gee whiz. Aren't you even gonna look at it? Look at what? It's only the Golden Gate Bridge. Only? here and now, but they tell me you should have seen it a hundred years ago. San Francisco was the old West then. You see that street sign up ahead? Sutter Street! Behind that sign I see Sutter's Mill, the Valley of the Sacramento. The year is 1848. John Sutter's workmen were digging at new mill rates in the river and found gold. Sutter tried hard to keep it quiet, knowing it meant trouble. But it was like fighting a prairie fire with a bucket. People came from everywhere. From way beyond the far Missouri, the Mississippi, and the Monongahela. Even the Rockies couldn't stop the rush for gold. Where there was no road, it was block and tackle, and just plain old willpower. Skimming over our highways today in air-conditioned comfort, it's hard to realize what those 49ers went through to get here. Sacramento, and all the runs and cricks were swarming with men seeking California gold. Gee, I can almost see it. Boy, I wonder what happened to all that gold. I can tell you what happened to some of it. This man is another figure in our story of America, perhaps the greatest of them all. Mark him well. In his way, he is to affect the lives of several people. During the war between the states, both the North and the South badly needed that gold. Once General Grant sent a detachment to bring through a wagon train of it. They're massacred by Indians. 
It's all part of our American history now, Jimmy. History we can be proud of. How'd you know my name was Jimmy? Isn't he a little young for propaganda? Well, I never thought of patriotism as having an age limit. Why shouldn't we be proud of our history, Mr. Schroeder? Even as late as that of Korea. What do you mean by that? San Francisco Terminal, 40 minutes for lunch. Well, Jimmy, let's see what's on the menu, huh? Bye. So long, Jimmy. Say hello to the president for me. the contract, so I thought I'd see the country. I hear it's quite a country. It is. You, uh, you live in New York? I work there. I've been home on vacation in San Francisco. <laughs> Me too. What do you know? A couple of natives and we got to go out of town to meet. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Say, look, it's only a hop from Philadelphia to New York. How about seeing the big town together? Why, well, uh, I, uh, I'll be pretty busy. Oh. Oh, I see. Guess I was offside. Huh? Mind if we have a little talk? What about it? You have a problem? So have I. I thought we might be able to help each other find the answers. I know the answer to mine. Are you sure you didn't look in the back of the wrong book? Hey, Bill. Sacramento was the western end of it, you know. And St. Joe, Missouri was the eastern end. Here it is. Listen. The first telegraph line had been strung as far west as St. Joe, Missouri. From there on, the mail had to be carried by stagecoach. It was 2,000 miles from St. Joe to Sacramento. It took weeks and months, and then they didn't always get through. That's when the Pony Express was on the list. People said it couldn't be done, but it was. Eighty daring young riders, many in their teens, and 500 thoroughbred horses. They had stations along the way, so a rider could change horses every 30 to 40 miles. These pony riders would start out from St. Joe with a pistol and a prayer book and the Sacramento Mail. No matter what the difficulties, the dangers, or the obstacles, the riders went through. You know, you can almost see those poles. I wish I would have been with the men. How old are you, young man? Thirteen, sir. Thirteen. Ten years. He liked the West, too. Who, Mr. Schroeder? He was a boy scout. 